All right, my friends, how are you today? Hopefully everybody's enjoying that spring weather up here in the Northern Hemisphere. Sun in the sign of Aries. Venus today on Sunday, fun day, March 21st, is entering the sign of Aries as well. And the Sun and Venus are going to be conjunct each other all week. All right, so they're only a degree and a half apart. Not even. All right, so they're going to be, Venus is going to catch up to the Sun, and then they'll still be within a conjunction of each other as the week continues. As well, the Moon has moved out of the sign of Gemini and into the sign of Cancer. All right, so the Moon moves home to Cancer as Venus moves into Aries, and the Sun has just moved into Aries. So that means the Moon, our emotional needs, home in the sign of Cancer is squaring the Sun and squaring Venus. Let me show you the chart here and talk about it. Okay, so on this hand, we have this, you know, this kind of firing things up, right? Coming from this place of oneness, this expansiveness. And now this is time to like honor and recognize ourselves. Okay, time to love ourselves. Time to forgive ourselves. Time to forgive other people. Okay, and this is about shining our light brightly. You know, like we talked about all the spectrum of the, the different colors that we are, you know, owning the color that we are, owning who we are. And, and now, you know, igniting that fire and that passion that lives deep inside, right? As Venus here is, is uh, entered Aries as well and conjunct the sun. Okay, so one of these aspects is like, you know, I, I don't even know if there's anybody alive that can take their finger and stick it through a sidewalk concrete, you know, concrete sidewalk. But yet, a weed can somehow wiggle its way up and have the integrity to break the cement, Right? And, and, and reach toward the sun, okay? So, the, and, and that same weed, we can walk over with these two fingers and just pluck right out with ease, a sense of ease, okay? So this is like that breakthrough energy, that, that ferocious kind of energy that Aries brings, okay? It's, it's, there's, it's full steam ahead, okay? So sun representing ego and Venus, what we love, want, and desire. This is like our ego really firing things up and saying, I am me, I'm going toward the light, and I am this. You know, we all wear many different hats. You know, we're sons and fathers and daughters and mothers and husbands and wives and lovers and boyfriends and girlfriends and secretaries and CEOs and astrologers and painters. And, you know, we all are many, many different things in this life. But in this sense, it's just like owning who we are, getting excited about who we are, loving who we are, okay, and being uh, unrelentless, right, like that weed. But now here's the thing. This is, this is where it gets interesting with the emotional moon square to Venus and to the sun, okay? So, so if we're sharing ourselves with the wrong people, and we know what we mean when we say the wrong people, Okay, when we're sharing ourselves with the wrong people, they're going to misjudge and they're going to devalue us, which makes us second guess ourselves. Okay, and we're at this time right now for this month that we need to be honoring ourselves, really, you know, feeling ourselves, feeling ourselves. Okay, so, so when we're hanging out with people that devalue us, this is like looking at a dandelion that's come through, that's worked its way up and out, and looking at the dandelion as a weed. Okay, we can, we can view it that way. But dandelion is also a natural cancer cure. Dandelion root is a, is a medicine, okay? So with the right people, that, that plant is medicine. With the wrong crowd, it's a weed and it's a nuisance, okay? So it's up to us to know and own who we are. We are the medicine, right? You are the medicine, of whatever field, of whatever you do, you are the medicine, that you are bringing your light and shining it out and being relentless about it. Not necessarily ruthless, which Aries can be ruthless at times, you know, as it's just that go, go, go kind of attitude and energy. Uh, and like, there's nothing stopping me full, you know, train full steam ahead. Okay. So now this is where, where the moon, and we'll come back here. This is where the moon balances this energy out. Okay, so something we've talked about before, where the sun shines, it never dims its light. That's not the sun's job. The sun's job is not to dim its light. It is to shine bright, same as you, your heart, your integrity, uh, unrelentlessly being yourself. However, you know, with... It's spring here in the Northern Hemisphere, right? So this sunshine 
is going to allow flowers to bloom and trees to blossom uh, and come back to life and bear fruit again, okay? But the sun just beats, beats down. And if it's constantly beating its light down, ego, okay? That's ego. That's the sun's ego. That it's its job. So the sun's constantly beating its light down. Without cloud coverage, without rain, the other elements involved, humbleness, right? The crops would be destroyed. Just as much as the sun allows it to grow, the sun would destroy them and burn them all up, okay? So the cloud coverage, the, 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 the storms that we have, the rain that feeds the other half of the nutrients, that's our humbleness. That's the, the moon in the sign of cancer, okay? So this is a, a healthy balance between knowing ourselves, fully knowing ourselves, and, and relentlessly being ourselves, you know, without guilt and without shame being yourself without guilt and without shame. And on the other side, being humble, right? And it's just like if we're overly humble, when somebody pays you a compliment, you're going to return the compliment back and you're, you're completely dismissing and not, not taking that in and drinking it in and saying thank you, right? This is like, oh, hey, great job today. Great job today, you too. And it's just like, you know, it's a, it's a natural common, you know, thing. And it's good and, and humbleness is wonderful. Okay, right? This is the balance. This teaches us. But when we're overly humble about something, then we're, it's like we're never stepping fully into our power. We're never stepping fully in and committing to whatever it is that we're doing. And with all of this, the, you know, Chiron as well here, you know, uh, the sun and, and, and Venus going to line up with Chiron only a few degrees away. So this is like healing that part of ourself and coming back to that, you know, sense of ego that we're, 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 we're balancing this out, our humbleness versus our, our full ego expression and, and, and ruthlessly or relentlessly uh, uh, being ourselves, okay? And further, Uranus here, septile up here to, to transform into Pluto and, uh, and uh, septile down here to the moon as well, okay? So this is about transformation, Okay, and this is changing our public image. So when we step into and balance our humbleness with our healthy pride, our healthy ego, our healthy sense of self, you know, it's just like the, the world views us differently. The world can view us as, as the professional that we are or the, the confident that we are, the competent person that we are, right? And as our day moves on, we're going to have a little uh, moon septile to your uh, sextile to Uranus. All right, let's watch this as the day moves on. There's our sextile starting right there at 7 p.m. Okay, and it happens in, until uh, 1 in the morning. Oh, well, even later, my bad. 5 in the morning. So this, like, this carries through to tomorrow, right? So it's just like this, this balance that we have between the sun, the moon, uh, Venus and the moon, and the energy of transformative Pluto connecting with Uranus, breakthrough and creating change in our lives, changing, changing the tradition, changing what was, how we've been, and, and, and stepping into this new, right? It might be uncomfortable to, to step into the light. It might be uncomfortable, you know, when we've been dormant underneath so long to break free. We become vulnerable to be plucked by just a single, you know, with this ease. We become vulnerable. So this is saying we're going to find comfort in being vulnerable by putting ourselves out there, right? Beautiful day, my friends. Beautiful energy going on. As always, appreciate you hanging out with me. I appreciate all the support. You're too cool. Happy Sunday, fun day, and we'll see you tomorrow.